In this series, I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to be doing the CFOP method, which in my opinion is the best. So th for this video, I'm going to do the first step of solving a Rubik's Cube, which is the cross at the bottom. So what CFOP stands for is cross, which is what I'll be teaching today. F2L, which is the first two layers. OLL, which is getting a cross on the top. And then PLL, finishing off the cube, so solving it basically. So what you should be able to do by the end of this video is get a cross at the bottom, so a white cross, and then the edges, the white and whatever colour edges, um, match the middle. So first, of course, just scramble your cube, which I'll do very quickly now. So I'll be teaching two methods of solving um, of doing the cross at the bottom. The first one is the easiest one, and then the second one is um, a bit harder one. The, the one that is quicker though. So skip to this time if you want to see the harder one. All right. So the daisy method. The goal is to get a daisy at the top. So to do this, you need to find say a random a white um white edge piece it doesn't matter what other color it has just a white edge piece so all you need to try and do is make a daisy at the top so there's yellow in the center and then four um edges white edges around it so here's our first white edge so we need to so we need to move it up so that there's our first petal of the daisy here's another white edge piece so we need to try so we're going to turn it till it's at the top but our problem is it's on the wrong side. So we're going to turn it down. And then all we need to do now is turn it up. And then, yeah, it doesn't matter what place, the, where, where, where the petals are. Because in the end it will work. Now we need to find another white edge piece, so here. So we need to get that to the top. So I'm going to move it um, here, because so, there's no petal there. So I'm going to move it that way. I'm going to move it to the top, like that, so it's here, and then you just move it, so it's, it's uh, here, but it's on the wrong side, so what I'm going to do is turn it like this, so what I'm going to do is, just to make this easier, I'm going to turn the top face, like this, so now there's an empty space here, so I can just move this back up, and there we go, we've got three petals, now we need to find the last petal, our last petal is here. So this one's pretty easy because all we need to do is just move it up like that. Then you've got a daisy at the top. Now once you've done that daisy, the next bit is pretty easy. All you need to do is, so just pick a random petal, so I'll start with blue. So you need to align it um, with a matching center. So I'm going to turn the face until it's matching the blue. Now that, it's attached, uh, now that it's attached to the blue, I'm going to turn it twice down, like this. Turn that face twice down, and I've got, uh, I'm going to start making a cross here. So there's the first one. Second one, green, so I need to turn it until I get to the green. So the green's here, so I'm just going to go like that. Then I'm going to turn it twice down. Next, I'm going to go red. So this one is already aligned, so I'm just going to turn that twice down. And then for the last petal, it's orange, so I'm going to turn that to the orange, so it's matching. Now, just turn it twice down, and I've got myself a cross. It doesn't matter about the corners, if they're solved or not. All you need to focus on is get that cross. Alright, now I'm going to show you the harder method. But in my a bit, this method is, is better, because it's much quicker. So this method is a bit harder, but it's much better. So what we're going to do in this one is we're just going to start making a cross straight away at the bottom without any shortcuts um so yeah but also we can't just have random edges they have to match the the middle one so i'm going to put that one back so let's start with this one first so i need to get this one this orange one all the way here to match the orange so there's um what i need to do to get it to this side i'm going to turn this face twice and here we go I've got the edge aligned with this. So the white is on that side and then these two oranges are matched together. So now to get it down to the bottom, I just turn the side once. So here's our first part of the cross. Now I'm going to choose a different um, edge. So here's one. So 
first what I'm going to do is get it to the top so it makes it easier. So to do that, I'm going to make, um, I have to put this one out of place and then put it back in place. So I'm going to move this edge so that it's at the top. So now I can move it. Um, I'm going to do move it twice away so that it's no longer attached to this face. Now this one is in the wrong place. So we have to just turn that back once. So turn it and it's back in place. So here is our red edge piece over here. So it's attached to the um, to the right center. So I'm just gonna like that. Now it's at the bottom. All right. So here's another edge. This one's a bit tricky. So to get it, I'm gonna get it to the top. So it's now it's at the top. And now I'm gonna get it to the green, which is on the other side. So one, two. So our problem now is. That so it is in the right place, but the white. Uh, so it's there's two different colors here. So I need to get it so that the green is over here and the white is over there. So to do that, I'm going to turn it twice. Uh, I'm going to turn it once. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just going to turn it to the right. So it's here, and then our green's here. And now, if you notice, all we need to do is turn it down. So now it's matching with the the screen here. Now all I need to do is just turn it like this, and it's at the bottom. But, because we did that, this orange one is in the wrong place, so we just need to turn that once, back down, so now it's in the right place. Now our last edge is a pretty easy one, it's at the top over here. So to um, to get this one into place, I'm going to turn it so that's at the blue. And now, it's matched with the blue, so I just turn it twice down. And there we go, I've got my cross. By the way, the centers never move. Even if you do like that or something, they'll always basically be in the same place. You basically just turn these two the other way. So, um, yeah. So uh, the t the tip is you need to try and get what um the colored side of the white edge, the other side, to match with the center, and then you need to try and get that um that whole thing to the bottom. Alright, so that's that's basically all I need to teach you in this video. In the next video, I'm going to be teaching you F2L, so you'll be solving the corners at the bottom and also um, the edges here, so the first two layers. Alright, to the outro. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The next tutorial I'm going to be doing is F2L, so the first two layers. You can, um, when I've posted that video, I'll put the link in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. You can click two videos here if you want to watch more videos. You can subscribe over here, hit the notification bell, like the video, and we'll see you next time.